The eyes of the nation were upon Wisconsin earlier this year as supporters of government unions rallied in opposition to Governor Scott Walker and the legislative Republicans. First, it was massive rallies inside and outside of the state capitol in Madison in opposition to the spring's budget repair bill. Later, they rallied on behalf of Joanne Kloppenberg in her ultimately unsuccessful attempt to win a seat on the Supreme Court. This past month, the protest rallies returned to Madison as the legislature approved Governor Walker's proposed two-year budget. Now, as we head into the summer, the focus will be on the recall elections. Nine senators, six Republican and three Democrat, face recall elections in the wake of this spring's legislative activity. These recalls have become a cause celeb for many on the left. This past weekend, thousands of liberal activists gathered in Minneapolis for Netroots Nation, a weekend-long summit. The Wisconsin recalls were the topic of breakout sessions, hallway discussion, and internet chatter among the conference attendees. Uh, I'd say right now things look really good. The coordination and communication is, is amazing to see between the national partners and the state partners. Um, as Levana said, I mean, having national partners uh, put a paid canvas, put staff on the ground we've never seen before. Um, you know, I've been working very closely with Kiana here. I mean, just having folks come in uh, and work and take different pieces of it on. Basically, every Senate district has uh, a, a lead, and then they have labor staff, they have volunteer staff, they have progressive infrastructure, uh, you know, environmental groups, choice groups, working together uh, like never before. And, and the amount of doors being knocked on, the amount of activism is, is truly astonishing. Yeah. They even rented buses that shuttled some of these national activists to Wisconsin's 10th Senate District, where incumbent Republican Sheila Harsdorf is facing a recall. Scott Walker poked a hornet's nest, a very well-organized hornet's nest. Netroots Nation attendees caravaned into Wisconsin on behalf of Harsdorf's Democratic opponent, Shelley Moore. Moore is on the board of the National Education Association and is an active member of WEAC, their state affiliate. Those union connections helped inspire these national activists to work on Moore's behalf. According to their own accounts, these liberal activists from across the country knocked on more than 1,000 doors in Hudson in one day alone. This, the magnitude of this is, is really significant. I mean, before this is over, DFA alone is going to spend $1.5 million in Wisconsin. Um, and we're able to do it on you know, these key things like ads and call out the vote. But for the first time, we are going to do, and I'm announcing this here for the first time today, exciting news, um, a canvas on the ground in three key districts um, we're probably going to hire about 35 staffers. We're coordinating with VR Wisconsin. Um, and we're going to talk, talk to people, identify voters, get the people we called out to vote. And I think that's going to make a huge difference in this race. And that's because of the support of all the people around the, the country and our ability to take advantage of this key moment and really put the right tools in place to make a difference. If Democrats pick up a net gain of three seats in the summer recall elections, they will win the Wisconsin Senate majority. The general election in the 10th Senate District is August 9th.